guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we're building um, an animal shelter inspired by kind of how it was a small one. I am pre-recording a lot these days because I am going to Denmark. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys to make sure that you know that this is pre-recorded. I don't know why, I just feel like it's a good thing to tell you. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. <laughs> um, it might be that I just talk about a lot of the same things during my speed builds these days because well, I, I don't have much to talk about because I'm literally just voiceovering speed build after speed build. But anyways, so the other night I was talking to one of my good friends on Discord and because um, I want to start these subscriber houses. I think I think you call them subscriber house, subscriber dream houses. So basically what that's about is that you guys came up with a story. Um, you tell me the story somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Maybe on the community tab. I'll figure it out and put up a post or it's going to be on the discord channel. I don't know yet. Um, and then or we can make up a tag on, on the gallery because they work now. We could do that. Okay, but anyways, it's just, but yeah. <laughs> um, and you t you you guys come up with a story for a family. My voice is disappearing as I speak. Okay, great. And what I would have to do is build them a house according to that story. So I have to build a, build a house that's inspired by the story that you guys come up with. I've been wanting to do this forever. I just haven't felt like I was good enough at, at building to do it, but I feel like I'm okay now. I, just, I know, I just, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a risk. <laughs> we will see how it goes. <laughs> Um, but I really want to do that. So the other night, I was just, as a test, asking him if he could come up with a story um, of a family or something that I could build a house for. And um, he said that he wanted me to build a house for an old couple who had moved to the country to get away from, you know, the city life and all that. Um, and what they did was, they lived in this cold area as well, which is why I kept the snow modern. Um... And what they did was they took in or they take in animals uh, and nurture them because there are a lot of strays in the world right now, as you know. Um, so what they do is they take them in, nurture them, give them a place to stay. Um, so yeah, that's what we're building. Sort of an animal shelter. It's a very, very small house. There's only one kitchen with dining room and the living room is turned into like a cat playroom, sort of. And then there's a bedroom and a bathroom. So that's about it, really. It's a very, very small house. I know some of you are like, oh my god, you're building a mansion again. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I am building a tiny house. It's not, it's not, a, like, it's not a tiny, tiny house, but it's still a small house. So, yeah. I do have two mansions coming up on my channel, though, so <laughs> you're not totally wrong. <laughs> I feel like I should just embrace that I like building big houses, so when I have the time, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but anyways, he also said that he wanted the house to look cold from the outside, so I kept it in sort of gray, white, and light blue. And then also, maybe a little bit of black here and there, I don't know. Um, I felt like the snow mod was perfect for this, because obviously snow is cold, so it looks cold. It looks like it's freezing right now. And then he said that he wanted the interior to be warm and granny looking. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, you chose the perfect time for this, because a lot. I feel like a lot of the furniture we got in, what's it called, uh, Cats and Dogs, kind of has this granny vibe to it, like this chic granny vibe. Um, so I was like, yeah. You chose the perfect time. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing. The interior is very, very warm. I had to move a few things around because I wanted there to be a fireplace. So I put that in at the very, very end of this video. But there's a fireplace in the kitchen. I know that's a weird place to have a fireplace. But like I said, the living room has kind of been turned into... The tiny, tiny living room has kind of been turned into a cat uh, play room. So you'll, you'll see that later on. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and also playing with accent walls. I like doing that these days. I don't know if you guys are annoyed by me using um, columns to sort of split them up. Like, you, as you can see right now, between one wallpaper and then the other one. I like to put in a column because I just... Column? Column. Because I just feel like it looks better like that. I don't know. It just has a natural, like... I don't I can't explain it okay English to me today is just impossible I I had to turn in a job this morning I, t I actually turned it in yesterday night because I did not want to get up at 6 in the morning to turn in a job because obviously I'm an hour behind and I have no idea when <laughs> they start working um, at the office in Italy so 
I have to get up at 6.30 or 7 to send it in. I was just like, nope. Um, <laughs> so I sent it in yesterday night and then I woke up today to three different mails and it was great. It felt slightly forced out of my bed, <laughs> which I mean, okay, it's Monday. <laughs> I should probably get up anyways, but it was just, I don't like waking up to to a lot of messages on my phone. I just, it stresses me out a little bit. Um, so that was not, that was not very, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> That's how it is. It's just how it is right now. I do have more work to do. The only evening I ha I've had off was yesterday, Sunday. I'm recording this Monday uh, on the 18th and you're seeing this, well, if you're seeing it the day it comes out, it's the 20th, so I'm not pre-recording that far ahead. But um, I will finish the next videos, trust me, I'm doing six voiceovers today, plus recording two episodes of my list play, so it's gonna be good. <laughs> good day. Um, plus working. No. I had a huge job for today that I sent in yesterday, like I said. And then um, yesterday was my only night off until I actually go home to Denmark for Christmas. But I had to I had to spend it talking to EA and also um, Amazon because one of the codes for my giveaway was had somehow been used, which I don't understand because I literally have not opened the mail since I got the code, so that doesn't make any sense to me. Who used the code? Because <laughs> I didn't. I already have the expansion pack and I haven't sent it to anybody else, so I had to write. Uh, Amazon told me to write EA. Oh, so I did, but EA was like, okay, we can add the game to your account, which I already I already had the game, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, I, I bought it elsewhere because I wanted the code, otherwise I would have just bought it on Origin. I don't <laughs> I don't know where the logic is in that. Plus, she started out saying, or he, I don't actually know, uh, started out saying that they were going to get me a new code, and then as soon as I said thank you, they said, okay, I've added the game to your account now. That's not giving me a new code. That's just adding the game That's all that I already have to my account. <laughs> it's like they just had to go through, oh, you, yeah, she doesn't actually want the game. She just wants the code. We, well, that's an easy way. We can just say we can't give her that. So I had to uh, write Amazon then, and it was just, ugh, it was a big mess. I had to spend one and a half hours on that, on my one day off, on my one evening off. So that was very eventful. Um, I felt super happy. <laughs> if you're on the Discord, you'll know that I was super happy <laughs> about that. But hopefully the last code or... I actually have one code for cats and dogs that I'm gonna start the giveaway for tomorrow. And then I have another stuff pack, which I haven't decided what to do with yet. <laughs> I already have it all, so obviously it's not gonna go to me, but I don't know what to do about it yet. I, I have toddler stuff pack. I have a code for toddler stuff pack but I don't know what to do with it. So if you guys have any suggestions, I might do something on my Twitch once I come home from Denmark, um, cause I haven't done a stream giveaway yet. And also I'll be moving not so very over to Twitch because I just don't like streaming on YouTube. YouTube has a lot of issue th issues these days and I just want to stream more on Twitch. I feel like I should keep it separated so that Videos go on YouTube, streaming goes on Twitch. I feel like that would be easier for me as well. Yes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Also because I'm an affiliate over there now, so I wanna keep that, <laughs> I wanna keep that status. <laughs> so yeah, if you're following the Not So Very, you're gonna have to go over to Twitch now. Sorry, but that's just how it is. I don't like streaming on YouTube. YouTube demonetizes my streams. It's not even the money, because I don't earn anything from streaming on YouTube. Um, Yeah, no, it's not about the money. They just, actually when you get donations on YouTube, they do take a part of that as well, which I think is uh, uh, not very nice of them. Not that I get any donations, but I know it from others. So there's that. I'm just not a fan of that, but... <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna split it up, move streaming over to Twitch, solely streaming on Twitch. Like, it's not gonna be on YouTube at all. Sorry about that if you follow the streams here if, and you don't like Twitch. Why don't you like Twitch? A lot of, honestly, there are a lot of uh, YouTuber, SimsTubers on Twitch these days and it's an amazing community we got going on over there. You should definitely come join us if you, if you don't, if you haven't already. Like, we're having a good time. <laughs> we're enjoying, uh, do they only have a bathtub? I'm pretty sure I put in a shower at some point. I just remember thinking they need a bathtub. I'm sorry, I'm talking about the build now, by the way. I just remember thinking they need a bathtub because if they're supposed to have dogs as well, 
the dogs need to shower, so well, not shower, ba bathe, so or they need to be bathed. Um, so I, I just had to put in a bathtub, but I thought I also put in a shower up here and then out. So th the the Sims that live here can only bathe, apparently, <laughs> apparently so. Um, but that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, if you ha don't already have an account on Twitch, it doesn't take much to make one and. Like I said, even if it's not me that you want to watch, <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> um, a lot of people stream over there now, like a lot, pretty much everyone. <laughs> so go do that, support the, the channels that you like the most by supporting them somewhere else as well because YouTube really, really sucks these days. Just FYI, keep that in mind. There's a reason everyone's moving over to, well not moving, but expanding to Twitch as well because YouTube is just... For me, it's not about the money. I just feel kind of disrespected when my videos get, you know, when my planned live streams get demonetized before they even happen. How can you tell me that something that's not even happened yet <laughs> is unsuitable <laughs> for viewers? Like that doesn't make any sense. Or uh, ad, 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 not non ad friendly. I don't know what's called. So, you see, it's just bleh, it's a little annoying over here. I don't want to make this totally negative. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna move on to talk about the build now. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew about Twitch. Um, just not for- not just for me, but also for everybody else that's on Twitch now from the community. Just keep that in mind. I wanted there to be a small- since the cats got their own playroom in the house, I wanted there to be a play area for the dogs outside. So I put out a lot of toys on the- on the grass. well, it's kind of snow right now. <laughs> it's not really grass, it doesn't look like it. Um, on the snow. <laughs> and then also this agility course thing, I don't know what you call it. Um, just so the dogs have something to do as well because I don't know I feel like dogs are often outside playing while Cats are mostly inside playing. I don't know cuz I don't have a cat. I've never had a cat I just know my dog went crazy when she went outside like she was crazy. So she liked being outside <laughs> um, Well, she also played a lot inside to be honest. Oh my god squeaky toys. I can't even <laughs> She was the funniest little thing. I, I want her back. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, I figured it would be good to put in... Also, it's like some garden. I know they can't use it in the winter and it looks kind of misplaced because it is winter right now. It looks like it's winter. But I just wanted them to have that gardening area as well so that they can at least use it for summer and we can pretend like they make their own vegetables or grow their own vegetables or something so they're a little bit self-sufficient I don't know if that's a if that's what you call it. I honestly don't remember. Um, <laughs> I've begun liking to use those on roofs, uh, though I don't know if you can see them, probably a little bit. I don't know, I just feel like it adds a little bit extra to the building, like a few little details. I am desperately trying to get better at, at decorating my houses. I'm desperately trying to get better at building overall, but you, I don't know if it's going well. <laughs> we will see. Um, <laughs> I'm also working on a tiny pastel house right now that I'm not sure I'm a fan of. I don't know. After building bigger houses, it's really difficult to be happy with your smaller houses because they're not as detailed as the bigger houses. I feel like there isn't a lot going on with the smaller houses, so I'm desperately trying. Um, not desperately. I'm just, I'm just trying. <laughs> no, I'm not desperate. Okay. Um, no, I'm just trying to make it more interesting and stuff. And I don't know. We will see. I have huge plans for 2018. I cannot wait to get back from Denmark. I haven't even gone yet. This is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna take ages. But anyways, we're going into screenshots in just a second. This is where I am kind of moving a few things around because I want the fireplace to be in there so it could be extra warm. <laughs> but yeah, we're going into screenshots in just a few seconds. So I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover now. Uh, you can download this build off the gallery. My ID is the same as my YouTube name. So Evelyn Sims and the build is called Animal Shelter. It's not that pricey or anything. And it's also built in Windenburg. I forget to say that sometimes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>